Hi everyone, it's Gail, and it's Mixed Media Monday, but we're going to talk about that a little bit, as you could tell from the title of the video. So, we'll say hi and hugs, we'll, and, and, and then I'll explain. So, hi and hugs today to Diana, Laura, Barbara, and Wendy. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, so Mixed Media Monday. I didn't sleep last night because I couldn't think of what I wanted to do for Mixed Media Monday. And truth be told, I didn't want to do Mixed Media. <laughs> I have Christmas mess everywhere. And I just thought to make a mess with painting and stuff, I just don't want to do it. So I was like, you know, and... And there's a mojo issue. So we're going to talk about that more in a minute. But I'm going to show you a couple things that I did over the weekend. And I'm going to work with those. I'm going to work with some other random things I have. Because that's what I feel like doing. <laughs> so I went through my, um, my coffee dyed and such scraps. I made all of these, and these just need to be completed into uh, notepads. And then we got this catalog in the mail, and I went ahead and glued strips, glued strips on the whole on the whole of it, every single page. I just glued strips too. So those are ready to be collaged, which is one of my favorite things to do. So all those pages of that. And then I did a couple more uh, from this cruise book, just using up scraps. So I have a bunch back here too that can be collaged. And I've got um, a lot of scraps from doing my, um, my Shirley Temple book. So I could do some collaging. That's one thing I could do. I'm gonna grab a stapler and we're gonna make these into notepads while we visit. I have gotten a lot of questions over the years as to what do you do when your mojo isn't there? And I will say that rarely happens to me, very rarely. So, so there's that, but then um, when it does, I find that doing some sort of simple little something gets you going again. And I'll tell you why I think my mojo is waning a bit is because um, I have been doing Christmas. Let's see. I have done eight Christmas journals and um, you know what? I think I could get two out of that. Um, eight Christmas journals and my Shirley Temple journal. So that's that's what I've been up to. And I think I, I'm, I'm tired of Christmas. I mean, not real Christmas, but I'm tired of making Christmas things. And most of that is I'm tired of the mess because that's, that's where I get to. It's like, oh my gosh, I just want this push put away so I can get reorganized. So that's what I'm gonna do there. A little piece of lace or something across there, or you don't have to. I mean, the staples look fine too. So that's, that's what we're gonna do while we're chatting here. So yeah, um, I don't know. I just kinda, I have just kinda found that, ooh, that's pretty. Just, um, just doing what you want, doing what calls to you, then you kind of get re-energized. At least I do. And so, so that's, that's what I'm up to today. I thought, I kind of, I struggled with it. I was like, well, I could do that. It's not that I don't have any ideas for mixed media, because I do. It's just, I think it's the mess. It's the mess of, I mean, I really honestly almost can't move over here because um, I've got I've got so many bins and such of um, ooh, that's pretty 
bins of, and it's perfect, of Christmas stuff. And I thought about, oh, do I want to, you know, finish off some of my Christmas ephemera? Do I want to do that? And the answer was no, I really don't. I am just kind of, when you're done, you're done, you know? <laughs> so anyway, so that's a scoop. That's where, that's where I've gotten myself to, is just to the point of, I want to just do something else, you know? I think this I could get two out of as well. Even though it's a scrap, you can't be wasting it, right? So, yeah. So anyway, after not sleeping last night, I'm like, other people have to go through this where they just look at their craft room and they're like, well, I have all this stuff I could do and I really, I, I don't want to. I could still keep going with Christmas. I have plenty of, of stuff to keep going with Christmas, but... I'm just feeling done with it. So there you go. So when you feel like that, I find the best thing to do is to just make something. Just, I mean, I'm going to feel happy that I have a whole stack of these in my pre-made ephemera to, with, with different styles and different types of paper. And I can just grab them when I'm making a journal. And that's... That's that. And so, yeah. So that's what I have to say on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just, you know, this is gorgeous. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Wouldn't that be pretty on these ones? Yeah, yeah, it would. I'm trying to think of. Yeah, I think if I. Maybe cut that right there. Have, I can cut it with my scissors because there's... I'm going to leave a little bit more of it showing than I normally would. Anyway, yeah. So that's the truth of it. My, my mojo has left the building. You know, the other part of that, I think, is we're starting to get into the, okay, it's gonna, it's Christmas, you know, like, I feel like I have a lot to do. Uh, it's just, you know, pre preparations, getting, getting stuff ready for Christmas, and, um, you know, shopping and such. Mike's doing the baking, as he does, but... Um, but I, I do all the presents and the gift wrapping and everything. And so, yeah, I just kind of feel like I want to concentrate on that stuff. And as well, you know what, I think I'm going to cut a little of that off. As well, like I have this week, tomorrow, in fact, I have a, um, YWCA board meeting. I mean, life goes on, right? Even though it's Christmas. And, oh, that's that one. But I think I'll use the other side. Um, so, all that to say, there's, there's a reason your mojo goes. And it's because you've got too many other things going. At least that's what I find. And, um... And so you just got to respect it and and say, okay, well, I have time in my craft room. What do I want to do? What do I, what would make me happy to do? Ooh, that's a fun one. That's a real fun one. I'm going to put that one on this one. So, so yeah, that's where I find myself. I find myself kind of come down to my craft room and go, no, and you know I have a lot of things I need to put on Etsy, and that affects me too. It's like I just I need to get it done because it's bugging me. Because there's stuff sitting over there, and it's like so basically I feel behind on everything. 
and like Friday will Friday and Saturday will be gone Friday we're going over to watch our granddaughters isn't that cute play um, basketball and then we're staying on Saturday to um, to do a little bit of baking with them a little Christmas baking cookies and whatnot so um, so yeah, so that takes days out of your life too. It's just like, there's a lot going on in the holidays. There just is. So, so I'm being nice to myself and saying, you know what? You don't have to, you don't have to do the stuff on your to-do list right now. You can have a little break. You made eight Christmas journals. <laughs> yeah let's see oh this is kind of cool I wonder if I have one that would fit this though so you don't necessarily have to fold it over I kind of like that because it's finished on both sides but I'm just since that was torn, I thought it might be kind of cool to just, yeah, I'm just going to, no, I don't want to fold it because then I lose that other bit. Okay, we're just going to clip this and call it good. So, 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 that's what I had to chat with you about is, you know, I think sometimes you just need to honor your creative self and not push push yourself sometimes you just got to do what you got to do oh that's blue fern and it's not going to be happy okay um wow that's close butterflies upside down but you know butterflies fly upside down sometimes And bonus, we're using up some scraps. Um, what else do we have? We have this pretty one. I almost hate to put anything over this because it's got a fun thing, but it will. one with some pink in it yep so we've almost gotten through this whole thing which is awesome yeah I I have some things with jelly printing that I want to try and but the thought of having a jelly print mess over there on my table just was more than I could bear <laughs> Okay, this is tricky because these have this purple in them. There's a good old Tim Holtz. It will work. Yeah, and I am trying to film ahead so that I don't have a break in my videos over Christmas and I totally understand that you guys are fine with that and wouldn't care but I do <laughs> oh my gosh that's perfect size yes ooh that's pretty too though what's a girl to do I think I like that Yay, we're going to have all these done. And then, you know, when you're going to go put it into a into a journal, you could always add a little lace or an embellishment or something. Like this, I might put a label right there or something. Okay, let's, I'm just looking for a piece that's kind of long enough. There's this one, but that doesn't really go. Ooh, this would be good. This would be really good. Just 
just cut that one now because it can go on something else. And we've got a stack of notepads. And so now I feel like I accomplished something. And I also felt that way as I was working with the strips on um, on the weekend. I, you know, I felt like, ooh, okay, I'm using some of these up. I There actually was a pretty um, visible difference in my scrap. I have a plastic bag of the... Um, the strips that are just cut off as you're doing stuff. I have that plastic bag and it felt, it felt good. It felt like I made some progress. Ooh, that was a pretty one. That would have been nice on something. But we're done with that. Oh, are we? No, we've got this little one. Were you like, Gail, you're messing one up. Yes, yes I am. Okay, where's that one that I said would be cool? It's right here. Do I want that or do I want that? I think I want that. Well, our carpenter guy is here working. So yesterday he didn't come because where he lives they had six inches of snow and we told him, you know, don't be risking life and limb to get here. You know, just, it's not like we're going to use our deck until April anyway. Although I would like it done because one of the problems we have coming up is we have Alfie for a week because our daughter's dog, because um, they're going on a trip over Christmas break with their girls. So we have the dog. Well, we can't let the dog out the back door. So we're going to have to walk him the whole time, which I know people in New York do that. People in Montana don't. <laughs> so there we go. Look at all those. Isn't that fun? Yay. Okay, cool. Okay, then I grabbed this bag of randomness, or this stack of randomness. This is just stuff that's been sent in um, in Etsy shares and stuff that I just thought I would work on. So these are decoupage starter kits from Took's Craft Table. And I thought, let's just, let's just get them done. So there's four bags in here. Kind of different sizes. Oh, and a little envelope, which actually would work really great in um, in a journal that I have coming up. So I'm going to set that aside to put with that. I did get a bunch of. Let's look at these. Oh, aren't they pretty? Thank you, Toque. Oh, these are lovely. Yes. Okay. So we'll just do one of each. Why not? Let me get get my tape because, of course, you take off the bottom two layers. Um, one or two layers. It depends on the napkin. But um, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, the trouble with getting Alfie out. Yeah, that's going to be tricky. Which I think... I think at night, before we go to uh, go to bed. Okay, maybe that only had one. Apparently, okay. Um, before we go to bed, I think I can take him out the front and just. Um, oh, I love that. It's just, yeah, I can take him out the front, and I think he'll just stay right there. I don't think he'll go anywhere. So he's really good about just going out. He's always sleepy because he's falling asleep while we're watching TV. And so I think we can just, I can go out the front door, tell him to go, and he'll go, I think. That's my plan anyway. Okay, so I am going to tear 
this to wear. Maybe just clear over here. So anyway, that's the only problem we have with not having the, the deck done. Okay, I might wrap that around because I wouldn't mind that. And then I'm going to just tear you out, little dude. Okay, tear him out. Put him kind of right there. I think I want some book page behind there. See, I'm starting to feel like we're, I'm starting to get back into it, I guess is what I would say. Book page. Let me just set it behind me so it's easy to get to. So. Maybe I'll put it over here, then that can line up. Oops, that's too high. <clears throat> okay, I guess I'm going to need this at some point. Ding! That was my ink and think water bottle that just I just hit. So, yeah. So, yesterday, though, we had some progress even though the guy wasn't here because um the guy came to get rid uh cap off shut off cap off whatever the um the gas that was to a barbecue that we are not going to keep it was a built-in barbecue and oh wait that's my piece Quit tidying, <laughs> quit tidying. <laughs> so anyways, um, that happened. So that was good. It was like, okay, well, we needed that done. And then they delivered the, um, the wood for the joists. And that was something we kind of had to wait on because um, initially when we started the project, we didn't know that the joists were going to need to be um, replaced and that that was revealed oh what am I doing okay that was revealed as we uncovered and destroyed the deck because as it turns out the wood was rotten underneath which is why we're replacing it so You could Mod Podge this too. I just decided I was just gonna do, do the glue here. I think I'll just cut that off. It's nothing exciting. Okay. And then a little butterfly, where would we like to put you? I think I just wanna put him kinda right there. we go okay okay I'll set that over here to dry for a minute and next I'm using these bigger ones for this just because you've got a little more a little bit taller um, design this one looks like it has two and as you know, I keep these white ones to uh, do the first couple layers of fabric paper. There we go. That one's got two. OK. 
okay. It's got a couple different kinds of flowers. I'm gonna have to decide. So, yeah, so we're, look at that one's different, isn't it? And I'm gonna do that one. Um, we're watching The Queen now on Netflix, enjoying that. I've just, I've just really enjoyed it. I told Mike I could go back and watch all the seasons of it again. He's like, looked at me like, uh, do we have to? Although he, we did do that with, um, call the midwife and he actually enjoyed it, but okay. That's just a really different flower. I like it. It's a, it's like a lily or something. Let's let's use the lily. Gosh, I think I want to do cover the whole thing like that. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, it is funny when you're so busy how it's almost like you don't have the headspace to think about, okay, you know, I don't know, maybe it just takes up your whole brain and your, your creativity side of your brain too, I don't know. But I was like, okay, you're not sleeping and you're stressing about what you're going to do for mixed media. Stop it. Let's just do what you feel like doing, like finishing up a few projects and stuff like that. So, okay, there's that one. I'm envisioning a label right there. So, but we'll set it aside to dry for a sec. Okay. Um... I actually think this one I would like to use this on, I think. Oh, look, it's got birdies. This is a cool napkin. Thank you, Tuke. I don't know if I'll use this guy, but, you know. Hmm. There's that. There's that. Would that fit? would kind of fit. Maybe I'll do this one. Do the hummingbird. Shout out to my friend Carrie. Oops, I need to take the back off. This one only had one too. Oops. Okay, so yeah, you might say, what's tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> and, and usually I have like three days or so in my mind of what I'm going to do, you know, for the next three days. And so this is a little unusual for me, but I have... I have put it down to holiday busyness and stress. Yeah. I really wish we didn't have a, um, a Y board meeting, but apparently the budget for this next year needs to be approved. I don't know. It's going to be the first meeting I get to because they're having it on a Wednesday instead of on the weekend and or um, the end of the week. Because if they were going to have it on Friday, I'd have missed it again for the girls' basketball. But as I've said before, I'm not willing to miss that. So <sighs> take me as I am or not at all, I guess, is what the moral to that story is. Do 
don't know that I love that, but I could always put a label there. I'm going to tear some off the bottom too. So anyway, that's, I'm going to go to lunch with my friend Sandra. And then I have the meeting later on that afternoon. So yeah, I haven't seen Sandra in a while, so that'll be fun. And um, I texted my friend Lynn because we have tickets to Clint Black and it's Friday and our girls have a game. So of course we're doing that instead of going to watch Clint Black. And um, I was thinking my, my friend Lynn likes concerts. And so I thought she might like the tickets. And here come to find out she's back with her mom again. Her mom's got breast cancer. So she's helping her na navigate through that. Okay. 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 Let's see this one. I think I'm just going to use that big leaf right there. Ooh, until I see that, and I love that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take, oh, take off the bat, Gail, ding dong. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, I haven't seen her for a while either, but she's been out of town. That's why. Because I said to her, we need to get together. You need to come over so we can play a bit. Lynn makes journals too. She um, came to, when I was doing the adult ed classes, she came to one of my journal making classes and really enjoyed it. I think she enjoys it much for the same reasons I do in that you can incorporate, you know, all the different crafts that you've done. You can kind of incorporate those into journal making. And she's, she's a quilter, but she's an incredible embroider, embroiderist. Is that what you, I don't know what you call it. Embroiderer. Yeah, she's incredible. Her embroidery pieces are just works of art. Okay, let's get a piece of something. I'm going to use this again. Yeah, we've been watching some movies. I don't know if there's anything I necessarily... Uh, well, the one we watched last night was... Um, it's called... It was on Netflix. It's called Senior. And it's a documentary that Robert Downey Jr. did about his dad. And it was so interesting, I thought. I mean... Just the family dynamics and stuff. It was really, I thought it was really interesting. And um, he, he did it as kind of, because his father was going downhill and eventually passed away. And I think it was, I don't know, in my view, it was maybe... Robert Downey Jr. dealing with his his past, his childhood and stuff. I'll tell you what, it explained a lot about why Robert Downey Jr. has, has had some of the issues that he's had. Yeah, it explained a lot there. It was good. I, you know, I'm glad we watched it. 
Okay, once again, I'm feeling a little something right there. I don't know. Okay. Didn't quite get over far enough. Okay. So we did those four. And they're ready to be maybe further decorated a little bit. Let's pull that off. That was just white anyway. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Okay, so those four are done. And then she has like a smaller one. So let's see what's in there. This sort of randomly making this stuff, it um, I lose track of time, so I'll have, to, I'll have to check my time. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have another card, and we've got a bunny. I did see the bunny right on top. Okay, so we've got this card over with the other one okay and then we've got four little glassine bags this is pretty got a little fall one an iris and this bunny well we better do the bunny first don't you think so mike told the carpenter guy he's like i'm going to costco and my wife will be downstairs doing her thing and so if you need anything, she won't hear the door because that's what happened when he cut through the cable. So we got that fixed, but then realized that there's uh, our cable. It hooks in underground to the main, the main cable, I guess you would call it. And if he cut that, then I'm dead in the water as far as my videos and stuff and I was like oh man so Mike showed him where that was and said please avoid that at all costs so yeah well you guys know you've been you've been ever so sympathetic about all my <laughs> goings on <laughs> oh it just is crazy my husband I heard him and he just came home so that's good, but I don't think the guy will need anything. It's just, gosh, they put the wood joists in my driveway and I had to really like maneuver to get my van in the garage and get it out. So that was interesting. <sighs> Yesterday had my mammogram. So just a reminder to you all to do that. And I already got the results. Everything's a-okay, which is a blessing. I'm grateful. Okay, so right about here. Just kind of cover the whole thing here. And bunny foo-foo, it's going to go right there. Ooh, that's a cute one. And then I can I can put lace or something at the top. Tricky to do this and not cut the bag. Gosh, my hand's shaky. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. Can't have that. Okay, he's cute. He'll go up there to dry. Okay, I'm feeling the fall next. I think this one's got two. Whoops. Doesn't matter. It still collages on the fabric paper just fine. 
Yeah, I'm getting excited to go watch our granddaughters play basketball. You know, it's been it's been a whole year. <laughs> okay. Um, so we know, I think I told you, but we know Katie made the freshman team. We don't, Addie, the uh, JV varsity plays together, so we don't know for sure, which I would think she would be on varsity, but then I'm a prejudiced grandma. Okay, let's just tear this. Oops. And remember, there is the trick of using the water pen. I'm just too lazy to grab it. Okay, so... I think we'll just kind of lay that like that. I was thinking maybe a little... small something up in that corner. Let's just oh. like something like that. Okay, so let's give it a little. Yeah, the construction guy said the roads were not great. He lives between here and Bozeman where my granddaughters are. He said, so leave early on Friday. I'm like, ugh. That's the hard thing about basketball season is the roads aren't always great. Which oftentimes we'll just stay home and watch it on NFHS. But this is their first game. So we would like to be there. So we'll see how it all goes. Last year, I feel like we had a couple times too where we had colds and stuff didn't feel the greatest, so we just didn't go. But And I have my friend Diane's retreat coming up, so... Again, I won't go that weekend. Mike may go. But, um, but I like that. The time with my friends is important, too. And, you know, it's been scheduled forever. And we just got the basketball schedule. So, kind of got to go with that, too. Oh, that's cute. I like that one a lot. Okay off you don't need to be there so okay I might just wrap this one around good my husband put my Etsy order out in the mailbox I just I actually just got done um, selling some napkins just paring down a bit you know but I wanted to use these little kits or whatever of well I didn't get that right there um of toques okay so cute and then a label on there will be fun okay we're gonna have eight bags by the end of this how are we doing oh we're just about there okay so this one is an iris and it's I feel like it's kind of small I might use both these napkins on these, on this one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. There we go. Wasn't wanting to start very badly. Okay, and then 
this one. I was dreaming like crazy this morning when I woke up. It was so weird. Sometimes, do you ever feel like when you're dreaming, like, okay, is this dream or reality, you know? Sometimes it's hard to tell. <laughs> I think I, there's one more. Yep. This is just a real fun background one. I feel like this little sort of a nouveau print, I would call it. Okay, so I think we're gonna get these other two done. And if we have time, we'll slap on a label or something. So tomorrow, you know what I think I'm going to do tomorrow is I think we're going to keep all this stuff out. I've got my to-do box over here. And I think we'll just play with some non-Christmas random ephemera decorating. I need to reintroduce myself to what I have available too. I mean, part of me is thinking about putting my Christmas completely away, but then I think, oh, what if I want to do something? Oh, no, I know. I had a better idea for tomorrow. Um, yeah, a viewer request. Yep, we'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Thought that through while I was in. See, ink and think. I mean to tell you, there's something magical about it. Okay, so not sure how I want to do this. Just gonna rip this and see. Well, that was all that happened. So I'm gonna put a book page on that. Just kind of how about this one? This one's got some good coffee dyeing happening. Across that whole thing. Sorry if I'm down low. I'm kind of crowding myself here. Um, I don't know. So I guess other than tomorrow, I may be going through a period here of just some random makes, which I enjoy watching and I and you guys have said you do too. I, I like to watch when other people do random makes. So but oh I can't quite put Christmas away because I have some unfinished projects, the collage book and the um, yeah, put that there. Oops, not on there. Um, the collage book and the tag book. So that'll still give me a little Christmas fun happening. Okay, now I think I'm gonna tear out the iris. Put it right here. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a mess from the one tomorrow, but then, and then it's, and then it's uh, time for Marguerite Miller. See, and then I'll put a little label right there. Yep, I love that one. That one turned out great. Cool. Okay, let's do one just with this then. Now what I'm gonna do is come over here. And then I'm gonna cut this. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. Do I have some scraps? I do have this scrap. What if I can get coordinated enough to get my stuff out of my way? I think I'll just put that there. And then I'm going to leave this one because, like, I could put a Tim Holtz person on it. Do a little more decorating to this one. And then we shall put this on there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today in my not mixed media Monday. My where'd my mojo go? Where's my mojo Monday? Yep, that's what I think I'll call this video. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave that one because I can put some collage bits and then a Tim Holtz person on that, I think. Okay, so how we doing? We're just about there. Okay. So we got all of our, I'm just going to recap our bags here a little bit. Get rid of the napkins. More napkins for scraps. See, we didn't get to any of this, but that's okay. We will. Lots of interesting things in here. Okay. Okay. So we did this. We did this whole array of these. I'll stand up here. This is my one I'm going to say for a Tim Holt something something. This one. Love that. Love that one. Love the bunny, of course. And then the bigger ones. Lots of fun, too. This one, I'm going to need to put some Distress ink over. It bugs me because it's too white on there. That one. And that one, all with Tuke's Craft Table kit. So I will, um, I will definitely link her below. And thanks so much for being with me, even though this might not have been what you would expect on a Monday. I, I, I am feeling good. And now I think I'm back in the swing. So thanks, everybody. Have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.